Hi guys, Samsung has just launched its new flagship phone, that is the Samsung Galaxy S23 series. So um, what we have actually realized that the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is quite similar with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra in terms of its design and outlook. But in this video, I would like to share with you my findings about the new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and what's the upgrade that they have compared to the S22 Ultra. So without further ado, let's go. Before we get into the details, let's do a quick unboxing for this Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Basically, it's a very very quick unboxing because there's not much things inside. So once you open it up, you have the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra at your choice of color. And then at the back of this box, they have another mini box inside which actually includes all these manuals. And then um, we have the SIM pin and also the charging cable. Basically, that's all you will get in the box itself. So um, now, let's talk about um, this particular Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. It looks actually similar with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, which is this one, which I have. This is the 22 Ultra and this is the 23 Ultra and at the first glance you will see that it's quite similar but when you look into it in a more in-depth way you'll see that um, the camera is slightly a bit different the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra's camera is slightly bigger than the Samsung Galaxy S22 and um, also the ring here is slightly a bit thicker for the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra but basically if you see the whole design this Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra it looks flatter and boxier uh, maybe because of the screen the curve here the curve of the screen actually is uh, slightly a bit lesser than the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra I feel that the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra grip is much more better compared to the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. It's a bit lighter if I put it on my hand, but apparently in the specification, it's actually heavier than the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. So talking about the S Pen, the S Pen is the selling point for the Samsung Galaxy S Ultra series. The latency of the S Pen is much more sensitive compared to its predecessor. It means that when you are writing, it's as if that it is much more instant compared to this S22 Ultra. But I felt that there's not much difference if you really, really look into it. Of course, both of these, if you put it on your hand at a glance, it looks really, really identical. The S Pen latency for the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra it's much more sensitive compared to the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. So basically the screen, they are the same. They have the 6.8 inches uh, screen, which weigh about, um, this is um, 228 gram compared to the 238 gram for the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. But apparently when I hold it in hand, I felt that um, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is much more lighter. I think most probably it's because it was being used. I think it's because the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra has used more recyclable materials compared to the S22 Ultra. So this time Samsung has 
actually invested a lot of its efforts in improving its camera. And now let me share with you what's the difference between these both. For the S22 Ultra, they have the 108 megapixel with f1.8 22mm camera, while the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra has the 200 megapixel f1.7 24mm lens. On the back of the camera, they have the ultra wide cam which is 10 megapixel and 12 megapixel. As for the back main camera video, it could actually record 8K 25fps for the S22 Ultra and the 8K 330fps for the S23 Ultra. As for the back main camera, the S22 Ultra could record up to 8K 25fps while the S23 Ultra could record up to 8K 30fps. And what's the difference between these two? It is in improve in its camera pixel. The S22 Ultra has the 0.8 latency pixel and the S23 Ultra has improved another 0.2 where it is on the 0.6 latency megapixels. So as for storage, the S22 Ultra, they offer 126 megabyte 256 megabyte and 512 megabyte storage while the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra it offers 256 megapixel 512 megapixel and 1 terabyte of storage which they have improved a lot in the storage which we really really need as for the screen the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is equipped with the Corning Gorilla Glass Victus Plus while the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is equipped with the Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2. So since um, they said that um, there's a lot of improved camera specification for the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, I've taken some photos on both of these camera, and let's check this out. This is the 108 megapixel camera from the S22 Ultra, and this is the 200 megapixel camera from the S23 Ultra. I felt that um, both of these cameras shoot very well at night but the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra performs even better. I've tried actually a walk in the Guai Zai Hong, the Jalan Panggong in Spataling Street and taken one of the photos with 3 times zoom. So this is how it looks like on the S22 Ultra and the S23 Ultra. So now you can see from side by side, the S22 Ultra has more noise compared to the S23 Ultra. It's a very very obvious noise uh, improvement you see. And additionally, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra has added an additional 50 megapixel camera in its function. Sometimes we do not need to use 200 megapixel as the file is too big. Then we could actually use the 50 megapixel in order to get a better photos. I do realize that um, there's one of the downgrades from the S22 Ultra to the S23 Ultra where the S22 Ultra has the 40 megapixel selfie camera while the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra only has the 12 megapixel camera. But after I've tried out to take photo with both of these camera, I felt that there's no big difference on both of these uh, photos most probably because they have improved on the camera pixels. So additionally, um, I've also tested out both of these cameras are 8K videos. If you can see from the footages here, this is the footage for the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, where it is shoot with 8K 24fps. And now this is the Footages for the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra which has been shot with 8K 30fps. So um, if you can see from both of these uh, videos, I did some um, shaking for the cameras and you realize that the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra's footages are much more stable compared to the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. It was because Samsung also has improved two times image stabilization for this new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. 
and one of the uh, main highlights of the camera features where it can actually snap up to 50 megapixel high-res images. It could also allow us to snap some astrographies and also hyperlapse like a pro camera as well. And one of the new features that I found out which um, Samsung did not highlight is it was able to extract objects from the photos with a long press. It will cut the shape out and paste it into a new background. Not sure is it called the focus object separation, but it is a really good function. So that's a really good feature because uh, it saves a lot of time for us to edit our photos. Overall, compared to the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra could actually produce a better photos and videos. The night shot retains much more details and much more reduced noise, especially during the low light uh, shooting. The colors are much more better compared to the S22 Ultra. The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra cameras were really amazing. I personally love the results more especially during the night photos and videos. So what do you think about the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra? Do let me know in your comments. So I think that's all folks for my video today. I hope you like what I've shared today. If you like my video, please do press the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell if you haven't already done so. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.